Hello to all students. I hope you are doing fine. This is Professor Masood Fuzal. In this video lecture, we are going to study behavior and its types. There are two basic types of behavior. One is learning behavior and other is instinctive behavior or innate behavior. Sorry. So today we are basically emphasizing on the exam, uh, study of innate behavior. The scientists uh, who study behavior are known as ethologist and uh, the study of the behavior is known as ethology. So first of all we are going to look at the type of behavior which is innate behavior. What is innate behavior? Innate behavior is a specialized type of behavior which is present genetically inside the organism. All plants behaviors are innate and most of the animal behaviors are also innate. Innate behavior are usually do not require any prior experience. No prior experience is required. There's, the behavior is already present in their cytoplasmic pathway or in their genetic makeup. And organism of all the group of the, all organism will behave in the same manner. Just like a snake will always bite a person, a scorpion will always sting a person whenever it is threatened. These uh, behavior are genetically hardwired in all, or, uh, all organisms and these are usually predictable. So let's uh, take some examples and with help of example we will discuss different types of innate behavior. So now innate behavior has been divided into two main branches. One is orientation and other is reflexes and instincts. First of all, we will discuss orientation. What is orientation? Orientation is a specialized type of behavior which is shown by certain organisms. This orientation can also be divided into two different types of behavior. One is kinesis and well, other one is taxis. If we look at the example of kinesis, the best example for kinesis is bilbo. Kinesis is a movement of an animal locomotion of an animal from one place to another place but usually these movements are non-directional so i will take an example of pill bug the scientific name of pill bug is armadillidium vulgare the body of the pill bug is just like this one i have drawn a diagram for you these animals are insects which are land crustacean respire with the help of gills they usually live in mud or wet soil or in near water where water is present because for respiration they need water whenever they feel a drought or loss of water in the soil they, that means that it is very dangerous for their survival so what they do they roll up their body in the form of a pill or in the form of a small ball and with the help of body muscles it rotate just like a ball in any direction in search of water which is very important for their survival and this kind of behavior is not taught by their parents it is present inside their genes so first of all this animal will move towards east then towards west then towards north and then towards south so whenever it feels or it found a wet soil a mud or a small amount of water it will stay there and start living over there so this behavior is very important for the survival of these animals and it is present in their genes that is known as innate behavior and orientation and kinesis. The second example of orientation is taxis. Taxis is also movement of animals but this movement is usually towards a stimulus or away from a stimulus. So it is a usually directional response. So it uh, this kind of behavior is directional. The best example of this uh, uh, best examples of these type of behaviors are phototaxis, which is movement towards light or away from light, chemotaxis, movement of organism from or towards away or towards the chemicals, hydrotaxis, movement towards or away from the water. So if we look at the example of phototaxis, a euglena, which is a protist or belongs to protozoa, usually move towards light because uh, it needs light for photosynthesis but 
it also moves away from the light intense light and if the if it uh, moves towards the light then it is a positive phototaxis and if it moves away from the light then it is negative phototaxis in the same way uh, in chemotaxis bacteria move away from strong chemicals like acid bases or other antibiotics so their movement is usually known as negative chemotaxis hydrotaxis some animals like fish or other water inhabiting uh, animals which move towards water their, their movement is known as positive hydrotaxis uh, while such animal which move away from the water known as negative hydrotaxis so in this way these animals naturally shows innate behavior in different direction or in different uh, location and all these behavior are shown by the all uh, organism of the on the group the second example of innate behavior is known as reflexes and instincts first of all we are going to uh, uh, learn about reflexes reflexes are specialized uh, still uh, behavior which is present in most of the animal for example if something is going to enter uh, in your eye so our uh, body will send a signal to eyes and i will be close so that uh, the the particle cannot harm our eyes it's, uh, in the same way if we hit your knee with some thing like something hard object your knee will jerk so that is a kind of reflex by which a doctor can know your reflexes so there are different type of reflexes which are present in our uh, nervous system the second type of behavior which is also in that is known as instincts these are very complex behavior and pathologists are trying to understand it deeply and there are many different types of instincts like aggression like mating like courtship like uh, territory uh, etc but i am going to take three example by which uh, by with with the help of which we are going to exam uh, in uh, instinctive behavior which is also known as innate behavior first example i have taken from a fish which is known as three spined stickleback fish why because it is a small fish which lives in fresh water and it has a three spines on its back so that is why it is known as three spined stickleback fish during breeding season the male stickleback fish belly become red this shows aggressive behavior during breeding season when a female matures and it's ready for laying eggs a male who is going to uh, fertilize uh, that fish egg its belly becomes red that is a sign stimulus which is a aggression which is showing aggression which is showing aggressive behavior to other males in the population that move away or stay away from that female then this male leads dances around the female leads the female towards nest where she lays eggs and this male uh, sparkle uh, sperms on the surface of eggs so that they can be fertilized so this is a very specialized behavior which is found in these fish and it is not taught by any of the parent this is known as instinct the second example i have taken for to study instinct is digger wasp digger wasp the scientific name is amophila adriansi this is a small insect it has a very short life span and it is very has very interesting life the female when she is ready for breeding she prepares a nest inside the soil by usually digging in the soil usually it makes a hole uh, inside the soil then she goes outside and finds some insect or a caterpillar she uh, sting the caterpillar with sting kill the caterpillar with sting and then bring that caterpillar into the nest after bringing the caterpillar into the nest she lays eggs on the surface of the caterpillar then she dances come come came out come out from the uh, hole which has which she has digged and dances around it in a special manner then the small pebbles or stones collect inside the uh, hole and Uh, fill the opening of the hole or in some other uh, species they can do it by manually so after uh, filling up the hole with stones and so and uh, soil she dies that's her life nobody no parents no mother no parent has taught this to her when eggs are hatched larvae are produced these larvae feed on the caterpillar which their mother has put in the nest they become adult 
can come out from the nest and start their life after becoming adult they repeat the same thing make a nest kill a caterpillar lays egg on it close the mouth of the nest and then die so this is a very very interesting behavior which is found in the nobody has taught this is also an a very best example of instinctive behavior the third example is cuckoo bird as you know that cuckoo bird never makes a nest it always lays female cuckoo always lay egg in the other birds nest like crow or sparrows so when female cuckoo ready to lay egg she always use only lays only one egg so it search for a nest for example she finds a nest of a sparrow where already three eggs are present she lays egg one egg in the nest and then went away she doesn't care about the egg she doesn't want to care about the egg so what happened the sparrow come come back in the nest she see egg as her own egg she hatches the egg and the when new chick uh, hatched from the cuckoo's egg what the chick will do with the help of shoulder the chick of the cuckoo will throw out the eggs or other chicks present in the nest outside and will remain alone inside the nest so this is this very very selfish behavior shown by the chicks of the cuckoo and when sparrow comes back from outside she brings food for the chicks and now she start feeding to the chick of the cuckoo and uh, after uh, she has to do lot of work lot of work to do feed kitchen because uh, the body of the cuckoo is very large as compared to the sparrow so she feed she feeds and feeds and feeds and feeds until the cuckoo bird become adult and then she flies away so in this way today we had uh, tried to a uh, little bit understand about uh, behavior of different organisms in different with the help of different examples i hope it makes sense in the next coming lecture we will discuss on uh, some examples of learning behavior until and that's all for today and uh, i'll see you in the next lecture until then bye